What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Welcome back to the Auto Shop Life. You guys know the socket drawer. I gotta give you guys a quick five minute update on it. Try to put time, I, I told myself at the beginning of this week I was gonna try to put some time into it and I did, but the major time I had this week I spent cleaning up the shop, wrapping up another project that I had before the socket drawer, but just wanna get out there and talk to you guys about a few things. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so I got the shop nice and quiet. Not how you guys like it. Hot for me, quiet for you guys, but I wanna talk a little bit about the socket rails. I got a few more unordered, kinda, you know, every day in my head, I'm kinda changing it up to see what's gonna work best. You know how you get that thought in your head on, you know, whether, whether you're working on a car, you're building something, you're fabricating something, you know, you got a mental picture of what it's supposed to look like in your head, and then, what it's going to turn out to be, you know, how like nailed it, like it's nothing like it used to be, <laughs> or it's nothing like you pictured. That's kind of what I'm dreading here. That's kind of why I'm taking my time. I know it's been a while on this socket drawer. I know yeah, I've been talking about it, but to me, this socket drawer is probably the, it's, I don't know for you guys, it's probably the hardest drawer to organize. You know, any other one, you know, you kind of throw in there, you know, size comparison. I have a big issue with these socket trays and the way Snap-on and everybody sells these sockets, you know, it's like buying a package of hot dogs. You know, you get, you get eight in a, a package of hot dogs, but then you go to buy the buns and it's, you only get six buns or something. You know, it's, it sucks and it makes you want to buy the sockets that you'll probably never use, you probably don't need because you go to fill these trays up you know and they turn out they turn out like this you know here's one I'm gonna be switching this one over to chrome I got some on order with my snap-on guy but you know go to fill this thing up yeah deeps look alright and then at the end here you're missing a one and one sixteenths one and one eighths one and a quarter and that's not even the half of it that's not bad I could get three sockets I do use those I do have them in chrome I do have them in 12 point this is six point set but then you get ones like this here's the 3 eighths three roll that I had ordered that I got and I'm kinda going this way with the deeps you know, they give you a set. Obviously, let's get up closer here. Hold on. So obviously, you got the shallow, mids, and deeps. The sets you get from Snap-on don't come with a 21. This is a, or don't come with a 20. This is a 21. So you got your eight through 19, missing a 20. This, this, the post has a six millimeter and seven millimeter. I don't even know if Snap-on makes that in a mid because I'm having the same problem with half inch. This is three eighths. And then you're missing a six and seven on the mids, and then the 20, we're yet to see if the snap-on even makes it. This is just the things I've been going through, guys, trying to catch you guys up with an update here. And then the same thing with this. You get your 21, and the, you know, thank you for the 24. You know, I really appreciate that. But I mean, at this point, at least don't skip any. I would have rather had the 20 than the 24. You know, I could, I could get a bigger set when I want to get higher than, you know, a 21 or 20 or get another set or put it on a mag rail or however some other ideas I got with these things but it just goes to show so now I gotta spend another you know whatever that is couple hundred bucks to finish that out I don't have a spot for these two because what am I gonna do set them next like that in the drawer go with a mag well or do what I did put the 21 here and then you know the short you got the 21 there and then put them on the six where, where I don't need them you know it just I, I like these Hanson style trays but you guys can see it's kinda turned into a rant at this point you know because I'm trying to fill these things up kind of the way to go I definitely like you know being able to see the sizes and having a home for each socket and knowing where everything is and being able to look down when the drawers open at a glance and see that you got you know one missing if you had one missing and being able to retrieve it and put it in there so guys guys with you know OCD and perfection you know it's gonna cost me to fill these socket trays so we got the chrome craftsman here in the six point sets that I got I'm probably gonna go with I'm um, not sure if I'm going to use these rails or not. Got this, this is an old rail I got from uh, Harbor Freight or online. I can't remember. It's a Harbor Freight style. So you put these in backwards. You know, these obviously would get put in like that. These get, not sure even which one I like more. I kind of like these for the posts, but the posts do break. When you push on them, you know, they can't handle. These posts are smaller. They're less prone to break. So I don't know which one I really want to go with. But then the same thing. You got the short, you got the short 12 point, got the whole set, 6 through 20, no skips. But then you get to the deep 12 point and it's missing 6, 7, 8, 9, and then a 20. So, you know, it's just all these sockets. This is what's taken me so long, guys. And then I got my impacts. That's what I want to go with the three rows. Here's the metric. 
I don't even know if Snap-on gets uh, got a mid set to that. I mean, if you guys know, leave it down in the comment section. I have yet to even get to that point to talk to my Snap-on guy. You know, at this point, we're just kind of chasing sockets that I do want, upgrades that I'm getting with these sockets. I still got the uh, the Technins with the, with the Ulsa trays. These are pretty much done. Um, it's not going to bother me missing one on, on any end. But when, you know, you got a gap in the middle there, you know, it, it, it sucks. It sucks. So... That's where I'm at now. You know, the drawer is kind of still discombobulated. I know I'm going to be taking a lot of sockets home. I still got to deal with the big sockets. You know, what I'm going to go with that. Going through some of this other inventory to see what's still there, what I'm going to keep, what I still use. You know, and just kind of clean house on this stuff. It's, it's a forever process. You know, I don't know if you guys got your socket drawers exactly the way you want them, but, you know, I still got sockets in this drawer. My, my flex I want to put in there. I got sockets in other places I want to try to squeeze in this drawer older sockets. I got my huge uh, three-quarter inch sockets down there in that little green box underneath the toolbox. But it, it's forever, guys. You know, it's so frustrating. Um, some of these are done. I've got the missing ones here on order, the missing ones here on order. Um, these are done. Looks like I'm missing a 12 millimeter, but it, this just goes to show. I have it. I just got to find it and put it in there. That's why I want this done. You know, obviously, if you have one missing on a set, you're always going to look down and think you're missing it. So I like the complete snap-on set. Ugh. So that's where we're at, guys. Sorry about the rant and everything, but it's just, uh, you know, it's just one thing after another, after another, after another. You know, I got it on my list. I'll tell you what, the socket drawer, I mean, leave a comment if you guys agree with me. The socket drawer is definitely the most overwhelming drawer. Probably one of the drawers we spend the most time on. Probably one of the drawers we open the most, I'm guessing. I use sockets day in, day out, all day long. But I want to get these things right. I want to, you know, one and done. I don't want to have to go back in and figure things out. I mean, I'm even planning for future, you know, growth. I want to save some room in the drawer if I can, consolidate all the room between these trays, the mag rails that I'm going to use, all everything else, any kind of other organizations to have room to grow. Just like the wrench drawer, just like all the other drawers. That's why I got the box. Obviously, you need tools. Newer vehicles come out. But... These sockets, man, I, I mean, I tell you what, I've probably lost hair over it. I've definitely lost sleep over it. So, but like I said, guys, sorry about the ramp video. That's where I'm at. I had to wrap up the clean, you know, spring cleaning project that we had that I started months back, just haven't had time to finish up, but spent a little time this week. That's where we're at. We're getting to the video soon, guys. Maybe it'll be a part one, part two, update, update, until we finally get the final review of this socket drawer. It's just finding the time to do it, guys. So. You guys out there, shoot any ideas in the comment section. Maybe uh, hit me on the emails. Just send me some pictures of uh, you know what your socket drawers look like. Bounce some ideas off me because it's gonna be one and done. When I finish, I got that that image of what I want it to look like in my head. If it doesn't look like that, it's gonna be a, a you know a failed it or nailed it. So you know if it's gonna be a failed it, I want to spend the extra time so I can just nail it right, get it right the first time. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We will catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.